We are Ben and MP, a couple who cannot wait to move into the ocean, but it's been rebuilding a wooden boat for two years now that has been holding us back from doing so. In this episode, Ben checks if he will be able to hide inside our wardrobe and he shows his freshly learned carpentry skills. Just so you know, I installed the most crucial piece of wood on this boat. Well, I try the sofa where I will soon be beating him at Rummy Cup on a daily basis. Also, as not all heroes wear a cape, we will introduce to you the newest hero of our journey. It's gonna be fun, so join us today and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to improve the looks of Yaba. Here we have cabin 2, which is what our cabin is, as it's the second one in order that we've been making. And here you can see where the little wardrobe covers are gonna come under the deck. Uh, Everything on top is going to be a little opening hatch because under here we have little, so this is all going to be openable. Here we have little inspection sheets which we are going to use to pull out whenever we need to to see if anything is leaking in through the deck, through the corking, whenever we have to redo the corking and stuff. And also so it just doesn't mess up everything in the wardrobe. Whenever we think it's leaking, we just open up this little hatch, pull these out, Oh, there's a drop there. Okay, let's redo the corking on the deck on this part, for example. Now we're going to move over this step. So we've made our beds a bit higher than usual so that we can have lots of storage under it as we have such big, such a high roof. So that does require a little step which is going to come here, which is also going to act as storage area. I hope we're making the build of our interior slightly clear. Um, it's been very difficult to film these small little angles like this, for example, while there's someone over here leaning over it. We've even upgraded our camera lens for you to give you a bigger wider view. So hopefully from now on you can see more of the interior of the boat. I'm just going to try and explain to you what our plan is with the interior as we've just been building some of this structure first and this is actually the first closing we've done out of naval plywood which is going to be varnished or painted. The plan is on all our furniture to use wood, wood that we're just mainly salvaging from scrap wood of big pieces of wood that have gone onto big boats and we're just cutting them into two centimeter by four centimeter pieces and putting them in our boat. Now for example, under here, this is going to be closed for a very long time and whatever storage is going to be under the deck is going to be closed and it's not going to get much ventilation. So we don't want just a closed piece of wood, drawer or door to close those wardrobes and drawers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go off on a mission to find anything we can use professionally and that looks nice that will allow the storage to breathe a bit. You're going to be see us making a lot of decisions to the aesthetics to the boat and a bunch more stuff, like loads. So hang in there as we go on our journey to find how to finish our boat. Right now we are in the car. We're about to cross the river in the car on a ferry. What happens is we are with the boat in Navegantes and across the river is Itajaí and both towns are very 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 well known for boat building but most of the shops are on the other side <laughs> so many times we have to just cross the river and that's something we're doing now to go look for many things for our windows for our furniture for inspiration for food so yeah let's cross the river together <music> So we went in and found some really cool things to build our furniture. We came out with some 
Phillips screws. Better luck next time in the next shop. Are these Phillips screws, Ben? So take two. We just left the shop. It wasn't really as we expected. All we could get were these Phillips bits. That's shipyard four and three quarters. If you approach the wall fast enough, you end up in a different area. Nice. Same thing. in the wardrobe which obviously isn't ready for now we've got this one and another baton which is going to go here which we're trying to make as nice as possible so it looks nice when we're on the bed which you're sitting on and when these are in place we're going to put the top bar the bottom bar and then we can start working on the shelving units inside it oh yes and we're building all the structures first then we're going to do all the shelving units and then all the doors and so on because we're like getting the hang of all this now and it goes fast and then we can move on to the next step so i'm sorry if you want to see all the rooms done in chronological order You can sit down now. What? No way! Ah! It's finished. I'm not going any further than this. Okay. I don't know about you, but this is definitely taking shape. I didn't get to show you what's been done so far. So we've got a little bit of flooring here. We're gonna to have to put some handles on because this is actually separate them from what I'm standing on so it can still be removed. Uh, this is actually gonna be the frame of the cupboard, which is I'm super happy with. That is still not permanent because we wanna get the isolation behind that before because the other side is already fastened. Uh, 
bedroom looking absolutely epic. A little step over here, a little wall there. For now, we're testing what we're gonna use plywood with and what we're gonna use uh, wood wood with. So most of the boat's just gonna be completely solid wood and some of it might be plywood. Uh, the tops are gonna to be plywood for sure, for example here and the beds. So this has just been placed, that baton over there, this baton, this pole that I kept bashing on has just been uh, cut off as well. And we've got one more support here because what we want to do is this whole, ignore the table that we put on here for now, this entire seating area is going to be with a plywood on top, like completely shut. And then we're just going to cut out two holes over here, one over there, one over there, so that later when it's all in place, we can remove the tops, but these battens that we've just put in are going to hold the plywood in place. Uh, it's kind of what we're going to do everywhere and of course it starts to get the backrest on it well, that's going to be very similar to the one we've done in the bedroom Just so you know, I installed the most crucial piece of wood on this boat. Without this, I have no idea how this boat would ever be finished. Let me show you. Right over. There. This piece under there. See what I mean with crucial? Now that the base here under the sofa is finished, there is one here still which is not in place, but it is made. So now that that is all finished, we can move over to the next stuff. So it's made in lots and lots of little parts so that when we need to access anything under it, all these little parts will just have a hole in them or a little handle so that we can just open up one of the lids of the sofa and take them out. So also it's being used already, as you can see, to charge some batteries and have a fan on. The next step is to start closing the area which is going to be under this big wardrobe here, under the sink. And as we're doing this, we can even close the wardrobe from the sink. So that's going to be the next step. And then we're going to work our way around the boat, putting the base of the furniture down. So we can already start building upwards.
bit by bit the floorings are being made. One thing that is happening is when they are finished in one area, Nico is removing them and then he is actually going over them with uh, epoxy paint, epoxy based paint, which is two components, which is what we've used on the inner hull and lots of the places where we want to prevent rot. So as this is plywood, even though it's naval plywood, it can be very low to the, well, low down and under the water line. So we want it nicely protected. So that's what's going on right now. For now, it's just the bottom parts. And when it's in place, it's going to be the top. So the, the bottoms of the furniture that you can't really see. So under all the sofas and beds and whatnot, it's all going to be painted with a white epoxy paint. While Ajil Song and I have been inside working on the furniture and the base of the furniture, and Nico has been working on the fiberglass on the roof, which is attaching to the pilot house, there has been one more person working, and you might already be able to hear him. It's not the angle grinder that just turned on. It's Mita, who has been caulking the entire boat all over again. I don't know. Ah, here he is. Amita. What you through the zip of the mundo? We didn't treat the hull since we corked the first time we applied the caulking compound and we assumed the caulking compound would expand and contract with the drying and the soaking of the wood. However, it was sunny rain, sunny rain and so on, which meant all the planks had, lots of the planks had opened and the caulking compound didn't stretch enough or couldn't stretch enough, just like replanking our entire boat. We discovered that Instead of doing 80% of the hull again with caulking and compound, we decided to do all of it to make sure it's all absolutely good. So Mita has already finished the port side of the boat. We're using two types of caulking compound, caulking cotton. This is the traditional or the most common caulking cotton. It's a lot softer. But what they use here in Brazil is this one over here. It's a lot thicker, a lot denser, which is what he's, he likes working with both. And I'm going to just trust him with this. So he has, he's already gone over the whole starboard side up to about the foremast as well. So a big shout out to him and also a big shout out to Nico who went over all of this old caulking compound with a caulking iron and a hammer to get rid of all of it. You can see it's all being cracked open again so that the new caulking could be put in. really like the way he works. I don't know if you could see or hear, I don't know if we're using his volume because it was so loud, but when he has hit the cotton in, it sounds like he hits until he's hitting a brick. That's how hard he puts the cotton into the planks and squeezes all those planks together as well. So what he's doing now is he's gone over the boat what, uh, three times on port side, and this is the first time on the starboard side. Now I like his way of working because he doesn't say I'm going to go over it once, twice or three times. He goes over the boat as many times as necessary to get as much caulking compound, caulking cotton jammed in between the planks to leave, still leave enough space for the caulking compound. So over here, even though there's a lot of 
caulking compound sm uh, oh my gosh caulking cotton smashed in there he still wants to put another thread because he says I can make this even tighter so I love the way he works it's quite a pain when we're inside the boat working on the furniture just hearing bang 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 the whole time but it's all for, for the good and I love his work thank you Mita as you can see, little by little, Yaba is getting better every day. And that wouldn't be possible without our supporters. So thank you so much, David and Laura, for joining us on Patreon, <laughs> Jeffrey, Brent and Brenda for donating through PayPal, and Lloyd, Wiley, Joseph and Duane for leaving us a super thanks. You guys rock. See you all next Sunday. Bye.